Today we will be getting an overview of the run screen inside of PIQ. To start, we get to the run screen by pressing the running man circled in the green in the top left corner. Once inside the run screen, we'll have our main tractor run screen in the middle on top with other run screens around it, like our UT screen for ISO and our field IQ screen or our task screen. Each screen can be enlarged by pressing the plus sign in the top left corner or you can double tap each box to enlarge and make them smaller. You will see at the bottom, you have an information bar. This will show you how many swaths you are left or right of your original AB line, your vehicle heading, total acres, and productive acres. How much coverage you have completed so far and the percentage of your task you have completed so far. Whenever you are in the run screen performing a task, you can leave and navigate to other screens without having to close your run screen. Your tasking guidance will continue to operate while you're in the other screens. As you can see while I'm running, I can go to the left activity bar, go into diagnostics or field manager. For example, while running, you could go to Skyplot and see what satellites you're getting corrections from currently or which satellites are available. To return to your run screen, tap the running man on the left side activity bar. While in the run screen, you have access to your left side activity bar. You can go to your home screen, field manager, diagnostics, or access your full UT screen. On the top of the screen, you will see your manual light bar, your options to turn on and off coverage, and your auto guide status. On the right side, you have field operations tabs. First is your line creation. Here you can set AB lines, A plus lines, curved lines, set up a headland, or do a pivot. Here we are recording an AB line, so you'll hit A, Drive 40 feet, click B, then your check mark, and your guidance patterns are ready to engage. You can also create a boundary within this tab. You click in the boundaries, select recording of left, right, or center of machine. We start recording on the bottom right side in the red tab, and you'll see the recording on the screen. So there we started recording, we skipped the middle section, and now we're going to close up our boundary, which you'll see here. Next tab is your line swap. You can tap the line swap and scroll through the available lines, or you can touch and hold to get access to different options such as guidance patterns and to see your boundaries. You can also set your filters through here according to your size of your implement or your task type. You cannot access line swap while you are engaged on an AB line. Next one down from your line swap is landmarks. Here you can set up your landmark type which can rep represent exclusion zones or ditches. You can tap the gear icon to view all landmark types. Next tab is your steering aggressiveness. Here you can adjust your vehicle ag aggressiveness while running in the field. This could be used when you encounter different soil types like going from a hard surface to a soft deep sand while within the same field. This will not affect vehicle calibration and will go away once you exit your task. Next is line nudge and remark. Nudge will move the line slightly left or right. The amount moved left or right will be set under your settings tab. Go to steering and guidance and nudge increments. If you set your nudge increment to one inch, every time you touch an arrow left or right, it will do so one inch at a time. Remark will move the line by a measured distance or by your current location, so remark to here. Also on the bottom, you have implement draft. This is located under the line, nudge, and remark tabs. Use to adjust tracker to accommodate for something like a side hill where the implement wants to slide downhill on you. Underneath this, you have the neck swap tab. You can enable and disable neck swap in this tab. You can turn on auto or manual. You can set how many swaths you're going to want to skip. You can choose your patterns for turns. And remember, the operator must acknowledge turns 
as you are coming to the end of the row by pressing the 180 degree arrow in the top right corner. And your final tab on the right side is your layers tab. Here you can select your layers you would like to show when coverage is on. You can also go to the settings tab in the top right corner and set up different colors for speed, height, and cross track error.